Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanic and big news today. The creative mode update is now live on the test branch and we're gonna be diving into all the new things, including bot spawners and new terrain or new creative world terrain. We're gonna be starting off though with the main menu screen. We now have this little icon down here. So if I click on this, we get a new loading screen. Uh, obviously, this is brand new. <laughs> Look at the guy on the on the right side with the bomb. That's hilarious. <laughs> Wait a minute, these are the old character models. Why do they update a new loading screen with old character models? These faces, I don't think exist anymore. Oh boy, here we go. This is it. This is where the camera is. Look at that. Oh wait, I can't, I can't move past that point. All right, uh, how far can we travel in here? I want to find, oh, okay, here's the edge here. There's not a whole lot of room, apparently. Yeah, this is the corner on this side too. So it's pretty much just around here. So my question is, can I use my lift? <gasps> I can. What about my inventory? I heard they said that you can't use bearings. As you can see in our parts, usually bearings would be right at the top. If I type in the word bearing, we have no bearings. And their reasoning behind this is they don't want you to build something using too many bearings to the point where you actually end up building a game-breaking laggy creation, and then you have a laggy menu screen, and you could possibly break your game at the menu screen if uh, if you do something wrong. But it's weird that they still let you use the lift. So like, I could just spot, oh, failed to build shape. Oh no. Okay, well, no, that's not bad. That's not terrible. Uh, it looks like anything that has bearings you will not be able to build. But what about things that don't have bearings? If I spawn this in, okay, so you can spawn in things that don't have bearings, that's good. All right, I'm really happy that we can spawn in things on the lift if they don't have bearings, because one of the things that I want to do is make this into part of a community involvement where every month or every like so often, I will actually change the, oh, I should probably make that centered. I have a nice set, <laughs> I just realized, there is literally a bearing as a symbol in the one spot you cannot use bearings. But anyway, as I was saying, I want to be able to involve the you guys in this. So every month or so, I'll use a creation as my home screen built by a member of the Scrapman community. This was taken from one of the intro pieces, by the way, in, in, the, in my intro videos. All right, so now, uh, do I just click exit? Save before exiting, yes. There we go. Now I, I should have put it more on the front to be honest, but now we got my logo there. Or not my logo, but the, the gear shape that is associated with my logo. You know what I mean. All right, so now let's get into creative mode. We're gonna be creating a brand new creative world because apparently there's now water tiles in creative mode. All right, here we are. I just, this is exactly where I spawned. I spawned on a branch. You can already tell that there's new trees. These trees did not exist in creative previously. So we now have Mineable trees in creative mode. This might be one I can actually knock down with my hammer. Man, this is some steep terrain. The terrain now is like uh, survival mode. It's very steep. Yes, <laughs> this is already so fun. We have trees that we can knock down in creative mode. All right, here we go. Ooh, I actually, I'm, I'm, whoa. Oh yeah, there's the water or there's some water over at the edge of the map. I forgot that the whole map is now gonna be surrounded with water. So we got that. It looks like uh, in front of the half pipe, there's just a designated lake or pond. I'm wondering what we're gonna have for other water tiles. I saw uh, some farm crop, some crops too, like a, a crop tile that actually had crops on it because some of the creative mode crops, they just didn't have any crops. So I wanna go back there and look at that too. But for the most part, it doesn't look like I got too much for water tiles. All right, so look at this. There's a whole farmland here. This one feels new. What is it gonna look like though? What do we have here? What? We have a bunch of eggplant. All right, this is weird. Yeah, okay. These are these are like the old crops. Oh wait, no, these look like, oh, hold on. Oh, look at that, this is new. It doesn't actually drop corn, but you can, uh, you can hit it just like in survival mode. What about these then? Nope, these are still just unrelated to survival completely. And we also got, looks like cucumber. All right, that's really weird that there's a specific tile that has the survival corn and then completely unrelated eggplant and cucumber. I don't understand it. All right, but it looks like all of the old tiles have been updated with new trees. So like even this mountain here has a bunch of new trees on it that are harvestable. Oh, you know what's funny? <laughs> 
I think me and Khan in, I, I think it was a multiplayer Monday a long time ago where we did, it was before survival mode and we did a tree harvesting challenge. And I think we used this tile here and we put trees on these sections and now there's actual harvestable trees on these sections. So that's kind of funny. Oh, that's new as well. Look at that. All right, so now the whole world's been updated. But wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Are there not rocks? I've just noticed that I haven't seen any mineable stone nodes. All right, yeah, so I flew across the rest of the island. It looks like this is the only other spot with water that I can see. So I'm gonna park over here just so that we can have some access to water. We're gonna have access to water on all sides. Oh, this is interesting. We got like a little peninsula, like a place where I would build a base. <laughs> okay, so I know what we're all waiting for. We wanna see the bot spawners. I do too. So presumably somewhere in here, there's gonna be new parts like bot spawners and stuff. Um, also ammo containers, water containers, and water guns are now a thing. And apparently they've updated the logic gate menu. Oh, here they are. Here they are, the bot spawners. There's also beacon that you can use in creative mode, which could be kind of cool. All right, so obviously I'm just going to have a whole section just for all these bots. There we go. Oh, we have red tape bots too. I actually didn't think about the red tape bots. All right, so there's all the bots spawning. Uh, wait, what does the description say? Shoot. Oh, they misspelled shoot. Shot or a hit capsule to release a very angry bot. Paint bots in different colors so they turn on each other instead of coming after you. So I'm wondering if that means that they won't come after you if they're painted any other color other than default. Okay, we're gonna get to the bot spawners, but first I wanna see this new logic menu. Oh, interesting. Look at this. I like this. I like th this this uh, system that they have here. I really liked that in the previous versions of the game and I'm glad that they brought it back. It kind of just really gives you a quick visual reference for how each gate works. All right, it is time for some bot spawners. Here we go. Finally, look at this. Oh boy, that's a big boy. That's a big one. All right, so apparently all you gotta do is shoot it or hit it. So let's see. Oh, whoa, that was a little much. Little bit of lag on the hit there. I don't know if that's that was normal or just because it was the first time I did it. Do these do damage? Hmm, there's no health. That's interesting. All right, we'll experiment with their impact on creations though in a bit. I'm actually gonna use this guy because he'll be most likely to damage stuff probably, or maybe these guys, they have explosives. All right, let's do this one next. Oh man, it is laggy when it hits. I'll try shooting one next time. All right, so these these guys, they're just gonna be annoying. They're not gonna actually kill you or anything. I wonder how that would even work in creative, like getting killed, where would you respawn? I'm curious if they're going to uh, bring health options into creative mode. All right, let's try the bots. Ha ha! Hi, you can't kill me now, Tapebots. You're no longer a threat to me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. All right, what about this guy? Oh, that one didn't lag. All right, now we can finally get a close. Oh, that's actually, is that just explosive? That is explosive tape. Why is the tape explosive? I thought maybe they just shot explosives, but if you look closely, it's a roll of tape. It's just a red roll of tape. All right, let's go ahead and shoot him. Oh, if I miss him, I'm gonna hit the big guy. All right, and boop. Whoa! <laughs> All right, and then now we got the big guy. Oh, that one was laggy too. Okay, uh, you know what? I think I need, uh, you know, I'm gonna spawn something in. Let's spawn, let's spawn in this thing. This must have been from like a multiplayer video or something. Oh yeah, they definitely destroy creations. So yeah, they, you may not have health as a player, but your creations definitely do have health. And he's having a, not a great time with what? You know what? Maybe. Wait, what? No, I am confused. Why isn't he damaging that? It's just wood. Is it because it was built with a different, maybe the wood material is different? Here, let's try building a wood wall. Can you get through this? Oh yeah. Yeah, you can get through that. All right, what about a concrete wall? There must be a difference between old creations that were built before survival and new creations. The material must have gotten updated with a new material then. All right, come after me. Can you get through the concrete? Are they just weak against concrete? What's the durability on concrete? Oh, 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 no, okay, they did damage. He did damage to it. All right, concrete's just actually kind of durable. Let me get some explosives out so I can actually take care of this guy sooner than later. All right, there you go. Here, hit this. <laughs> All right, so now that I've spawned them all in for the first time and they were super laggy, let's see if I do it again. 
There we go. Yeah, so the initial the initial hit of the cage will be laggy. But as you can see, it's no longer laggy after you've done that initial swing. All right, and they're all dead now. All right, so now let's try with uh, some paint. We'll put all these back down. And then, of course, we're going to do some of them versus each other just to see what happens. All right, so presumably, if I paint them like this, they won't attack me? Okay, well, that was a lie. All right, so now if I... Oh, I, I probably can't paint them after they're... Wait, oh, can I? Here, let's use a different color. Ah, all right, paint them. Okay, that's interesting, isn't it? I'm gonna paint this guy orange and... Oh, he just let him out for me. Okay, they do attack me still, but is there a way? I'm wondering if there's a way for me to get them to not be interested in a player at all. Oh, excuse you. All right, so apparently we can type in some commands that affect the bot. So we can do no aggro, aggro, or aggro all. So if I do no aggro, aggro is now off. So let's see what happens. All right, so now they just sit there. <laughs> what? <laughs> he fell over. Who are you shooting? Why are you guys shooting? What's happening? What? What were they shooting? Okay, let me spawn these guys back in. What? These guys seem to be like... Oh, you okay? He's shooting blocks. Look at him shoot the blocks. You're supposed to be no aggro. What is wrong with these guys? They really don't like blocks. Wait, wait, let me try... No aggro, please. All right, I think that's probably just uh, a mistake on the developer's part because now if I spawn in a creation, they're totally gonna aggro me, aren't they? Look at that, look at that. What is this? No aggro. <laughs> Listen to the, your, your commander. <laughs> oh no. All right, I'm just gonna leave that there and they're gonna keep trying to explode it. But now what happens if I paint you? Oh, okay. Okay. Whoa. Right, I'm going to paint him now. Watch this. Now they all attack him and he attacks them. All right. That's how it works. That is how it works. So no aggro is applying to the pl player and the player only, it seems like. But they still will aggro other things. So now I wonder with this guy, if I get into a creation then. Are you going to aggro me in a seat? No? Okay, that's good. He's watching me. What? Oh, boy. I just killed him? All right. That's a thing. I don't know why I'm spawning in this creation, by the way. I don't even remember what this is. I guess we did a caster wheel race at some point. Okay, so now the question becomes, what happens when these guys are set to aggro all? All right, aggro all? Hostiles received Scrapman's position. What? What? Oh, right, hold on, hold on. What does just aggro mean? Aggro on. All right, hold on. Let me, let me go. Let's go in increments here. Aggro off. Okay, so now they just shouldn't. Ah! 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 I said aggro off! Ah! I said aggro off! Why doesn't anything listen? Aggro off. Aggro off. Uh. Oh, uh, what? Aggro. Oh, it's not doing aggro. Wait, is it aggro? Oh, it's no aggro. That's why. No aggro. <laughs> okay. Okay, we all friends now? Are we all friends? All right, I think we're all friends. Okay, so now here's the thing. This is interesting. I think now if I go far enough away out of their detection range and I turn aggro on, I think they won't come after me. Now I do aggro. So aggro is now on. So check it out. If I do this... He will come after me, but the other ones won't. Because this is just like the natural aggro state. But now if I do aggro all, I think they'll know where I am no matter where I am on the map. There it is. Yes. Okay. This is good. I like these options. These give you definitely some different options for how the game is going to work. The only thing 
right now is that we don't actually have any consequence of the player himself when it comes to these bots. You have to be in a creation for them to pose any threat, which still leaves a lot of room for, like, a lot of potential for challenges and stuff. Just not quite as much as I was hoping for. All right, so now I have no aggro back on, and I'm gonna be curious, how many greenies does it take to kill a hay bot? You know what, let's actually, let's keep them relatively similar to their color. I'm gonna paint you orange, I'm gonna paint them green. All right, so they should all be on the same team, and they should be completely unhostile to each other. And then we get this guy in. Can three greenies Beat a hay bot. Oh boy. I honestly thought the hay bot was gonna lose. They have a faster rate of attack than him and uh, there was more of them, but he was close to death. You know, I wanna try that again. Is that gonna be a consistent result? Dang! This guy's powerful. All right, four has to be the, the, the amount that he can't handle then, right? There we go. They need to lower that sound. That sound is way too loud. All right, what's going to happen here? Nope. Yeah, so one Haybot can handle three greenies, but one Haybot cannot handle four greenies. All right, what about a Haybot versus a tape bot? The tape bots are so weak. They, they need the distance. That's the That's the problem. There you go. There you go. Oh, I forgot how much damage they do. They do a massive amount of damage. But if they get hit like once, I'm pretty sure they're dead. The, the tape bots I'm referring to. Wow. Okay, so a tape bot could take out two of these guys. What about three? No, yeah, it's, it's, it's all about distance. All right, now we're trying it at a bit more of a distance. So he's going to have an advantage. Okay, he doesn't have an advantage when he's falling over right at the start. Yeah, he can only take two hits from these guys, so they really just got to take him out at range. All right, but I know we all have the question, how many hay bots to take out one of these guys? I'm just going to spawn in five hay bots and see what happens. All right. Good luck. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh, man. That was... That was kind of crazy to watch. The noises were insane. He did not sustain that much damage. All right, so I think we need at least twice as much of that. All right, so the cool thing about the painting is I don't have to paint any of those guys for this to work. I just got to paint this guy only. And uh, just because he's not an original color, anybody else who is a different color than that, including no color at all, like these guys, they will automatically be against each other. Just like that. So that's 12 now versus one. Why are you? What? Okay. Whoa. They're not going to do it. Whoa, what the? He just got flung through the air. They did it. I actually didn't think they would after seeing the first round of, oh, now they're all gone. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. They had their victory and then it was all for nothing because everyone died anyway. I have to see what happens with this. Have fun, guys. Enjoy. Whoa. I think they're gonna kill each other at the same time. How many hits is it gonna take? There we go! And yet they did kill each other at the same time. So who would have thought that uh, one bot versus the same bot would have been perfectly evenly matched? That was a totally unexpected result. All right, so obviously these bot spawners, it is just going to be a world of possibilities that I definitely wanna hear from you guys in the comments, but we're not done looking at this update yet. What are you shooting? What are you shooting? Why are you shoot? What are you? Why are you shooting each other? You're not supposed to be shooting each other. <laughs> it was like a classic Mexican standoff there, kind of. Everyone's just aiming at each other. But why were you shooting each other? You're all the same color. I didn't change your colors. What happened? All right, let's try this again. I wanted the. Oh. That's... What? Why are you doing that? He's on your side. 
He's on your side. What are you doing? You guys are broken. See, the problem is uh, they want to attack objects. They're, they're programmed to attack just any built object. Like if I put this wall down, see? So they also see the bot capsules as built objects, even if they don't see the bot itself as an enemy. This is kind of cool though. That's actually kind of fun. These guys are gonna add some interesting elements to different scenarios that you can create. And challenge mode's gonna have a whole new uh, element to it as well. What about a seat? Ow. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. All I wanted to do was surround myself with these guys and then have them all shooting at me at the same time. But it's kind of hard when they keep blowing themselves up. They're just all blowing themselves up. Look, there's, there's three left after that. What happens if I'm on top of this when I hit it? Oh, okay. All right, so I was just reviewing the patch notes again just to make sure I don't miss anything for this video. And it claims that there will be stones in the in new creative worlds that can be drilled, but I haven't seen any yet. So I'm gonna do a drive around and see if I can actually find any of these stones for drilling. Cause there's trees just everywhere. Like there's, there's harvestable trees just overwhelming every single tile, but I haven't seen any harvestable stones yet. So nope, those are not the harvestable kind of stone. Here we go. I found one on this entire map. One stone node to harvest. Wow, if they're that, oh no, here's another one over here. Okay, that's gonna be difficult to, you're gonna have to probably choose your maps wisely or create your own maps with stones. Speaking of which, let's hop over into the world builder and let's take a look at the actual new tiles and especially what we have for water. Cause I only have one water tile here so far. There's another stone node. Okay, so yeah, I was just wrong about there not being any stone nodes. This area is, seems to be the area for it. All right, but yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, here, this is a new, this is a completely new thing right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, what does the underwater actually look like? Okay, cool. I wonder if there are still caves underwater. Probably not. All right, but let's actually hop over to the world builder and we're gonna see what they actually have for new tiles. I'm especially interested in seeing what tiles have water. All right, here we go. So we're in the tile builder. Uh, do we have water in the small tiles? Nope, no, I don't see anything new for small tiles. All right, so here we go. So, so far the first time I've seen water is in these tiles right here. We have one large, two large tiles for water. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that is really interesting. Do you know what this water tile is? This is, um, where is it? That's this tile, but it just has water in it now. They actually filled in the basin with water, but we also have this other water tile. Now let's go to extra large. All right, it doesn't look like we have water and extra large. So these two tiles, and the water doesn't even show up in the actual tile builder, but these two tiles are the only water-based tiles, and that's... I actually want to I want to look at this one. I think this is the one that we had in that world, wasn't it? But before we go back into the world, uh, I want to go into the tile or the the yeah, the tile builder and see if they, we have any water assets to use. All right, here we go. We got our extra large tile. Now let's see category. Do we have water as a category? It does not look like we have water as a category. Oh, harvestables. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Water on off. Water on off. Wait, where is water though? Oh, you know what? Ground terrain height. If I go down, I forget how to, I haven't used the tile builder in so long. There it is. Oh, this is good guys. This is good. This is really good. That means the whole world now has a water level and we can build a tile that uses the water levels, which means we can make our own race courses. Yes, check that out. Yeah, you can just go ahead and make uh, a race course in river. This is exactly what I was hoping for. So now you can make river races. You can even make your own tiles with harvestable rock nodes. You can put down corn, you can, you can put down beehives, clams. You can put clams underwater and everything. That's actually pretty cool. You can put oil underwater too. Flowers, hey, like look at all this stuff. Oh, look at, <laughs> we still have the old character model for this, but it's official. You can uh, create your own worlds with harvestable stuff. Cause that way we can build harvest, like uh, mining challenges, harvest challenges, things like that, where things are actually put in designated places that can be equal for like different amounts of players and stuff like that. 
So I'm really happy with this. I'm happy with this update. They obviously just need to make some tweaks and fixes to how the bots work, especially the tape bots. I think no aggro should mean that they don't attack anything, including creations, because right now the tape bots and they just seem to be automatically aggroing creations even with no aggro enabled. But anyway, let's get back into that creative world and I want to check out underwater in that tile to see if we can recognize it from that uh, other tile, the basin tile. Oh yeah, check it out. This is it. This is the same tile, but now it just has water. Look at that. These used to be jumps. Wait a minute. I think I just realized an issue kind of. Uh, hold on. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, I, I, I was wrong. I was thinking that if the creative world now has a base water level, that the cannon would then be going underwater. But then I realized that you can turn water on and off in the tile builder itself, and that pertains to the tile itself, not the whole world. So that means that you can have tiles that go underground, and you can have tiles that have water that also go underground, but then it becomes underwater. Well, now I have a favor to ask from you guys in the comments down below. Now that you've seen, I think I've covered pretty well everything that's uh, notable in the new updates. And now that you've seen it, what excites you the most for future videos? What do you want to see in the future when it comes to using these new tools and bots at our disposal now. We have water, we have the bot spawners. So I'll be looking through the comments and taking note of some good ideas and uh, we'll definitely be seeing some of that on the channel in the future. Already, I know there's just gonna be all out bot wars with just hordes of bots versus hordes of bots trying to figure out what is the best bot for what situation and how many bots can beat how many other types of bots and stuff like that. So for those, what do you want to see? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out some more content on the channel right here on the end screen. And if you want to help support the channel, check out the merch store as well. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.